it's morning time and the kitty's looking out the window. I slept in a little bit, but I'm going to get ready and make coffee now. It's morning and I'm getting ready to make some coffee. Well, that's everything I need to make coffee, so let's get it set up and get the coffee on the boil. Kitty's kind of curious. I really like to have a picnic table when I'm doing this, but it's not necessary. Put the water in here. Don't watch the pot or it won't go out. Well, it's perking, so I'll get out our cups. Now, we used to carry a thermos, but it winds up that we can put enough coffee in here. We get 10 cups out of the machine, and that fills up our cups. That gives us enough coffee. Now, I just add a little more water because for some reason you have to do that to get a full pot. It's a real waiting game. Sometimes I'm tempted to get a cup before it's ready. We'll just Once it's 80%, that's like eight cups are done, then you could grab a cup out of there. Not before. Miss Kitty's waiting patiently while I'm making the coffee. Bella's trying to catch up on her nap. It's pretty soon time to feed these guys, but Kitty was a bit upset this morning. Well, wow, that's pretty good. Still finishing off a little bit. a little while for the thing to cool off before we can put everything away and I like to wait until it's all done and put everything away at once. So now I'll put the coffee in the rack in the van. Well this is a little hobo modification that I made to the front of the van so we can put our coffee cups in here. The bungee cord holds them in place. And Now I'm all set for a morning of driving. Remember not to drink coffee while you're driving. You have to be stopped. Well, these light stands come in pretty handy for a place to drink your coffee and look around. Well, everything's cooled down enough, so it's time to put things away. Just 
dump out the coffee grounds. That goes right back in there. This one here, now this is glass, and I've been driving on the road with this for five or six years. That's pretty good. We don't want to jinx ourselves, though. I keep this in here. This little coffee pot on top of it. Surround it with the coffee beans. Filters. Propane. Yeah, that's cool enough to put away now. You do want to be careful with these things. So this, of course, goes in the garbage. Water, the coffee maker, and the accessories go right in the back of the van. And we're ready to hit the road again. We're going to go shopping, get a few groceries. We might stay a little longer than we thought. There she is. She's a lot of fun. Well now, it's pouring rain in the van and we're at the market. I made coffee this morning, but we're going to have to buy our lunch by the looks of it. Well, wow. I don't want to be out barbecuing right now, that's for sure. Look at the rain coming down. It's nice and cool enough in the van, eh? With the, we've got some of the windows open. But it's better to just stay in here and we'll have some kind of a treat from the market for brunch today instead of me baking, instead of me cooking on the barbecue. And there you see our breakfast treat we're going to have. It's going to be delicious. I couldn't barbecue, so Mary picked this up inside. And a few keto snacks to have with our coffee that I made this morning. Still got coffee left. Well now, we don't always want to make a big pot of coffee, so today what I'm going to do is make a small pot of coffee the way we do it. Use a Melita filter, filter paper. Now, while the kettle's boiling, I'll get some bagels ready here. Now these are fresh bagels that I just got from the bakery on Victoria and Strange. This can toast them up pretty quickly, so you gotta watch. You don't want them to burn.
this particular picnic table is at quite an angle. These mugs keep the coffee hot for hours. I find that I can make 10 coffees in the morning with my Coleman maker and coffee will stay hot until noon. Shouldn't really drink coffee after noon anyway. It's good to put the coffee filters and the coffee grounds in the composters. And there you have it. Another fine cup of coffee. Thanks for watching. And there you go. Bagels, cream cheese, and fresh coffee.